Hello all, welcome to this video on vector calculus. Today I'll be talking about higher order derivatives, linearization and multivariate Taylor series. In the previous videos we have discussed about gradients which are first order derivatives. Sometimes we are interested in derivatives of higher order for example when we want to use Newton's method for optimization which will require second order derivatives. Let us consider a function f from two dimension space to one dimension space of two variables x, y. We use the following notation for higher order partial derivatives and for gradients. Dou square f by dou x square is the second partial derivative of f with respect to x. Dou raised to n of x by dou x raised to n is the nth partial derivative of f with respect to x. Dou square f by dou y dou x which can be written as dou by dou y of dou f by dou x is the partial derivative obtained by first partial differentiating with respect to x and then with respect to y. Dou square f by dou x dou y is the partial derivative obtained by first partial differentiating by y and then x. Hessian is a collection of all second order partial derivatives. If f of x y is a twice continuously differentiable function then dou square f by dou x dou y will be same as dou square f by dou y dou x that is the order of differentiation does not matter and the corresponding Hessian matrix h is given by dou square f by dou x square dou square f by dou x dou y dou square f by dou x dou y and dou square f by dou y square. This is a symmetric matrix. The Hessian is denoted by this symbol. Generally for x belonging to n dimension space and f being a mapping from n dimension space to one dimension space, Hessian is an n by n matrix. The Hessian measures the curvature of the function locally around the point x, y. So if f is a mapping from the n dimension to m dimension space and is a vector field, then Hessian is an m cross n cross n tensor. Now let us look into linearization and multivariate Taylor series. The gradient of a function f is often used for a locally linear approximation of f around x0 that is f of x which is approximately f of x0 plus gradient of f with respect to x evaluated at x0 into x minus x0. The figure here shows a linear approximation of a function. The original function f is linearized at x0 is equal to minus 2 using the first order Taylor series expansion. The original function is approximated by a straight line. Now this approximation is locally accurate but the farther we move away from x0 the worse the approximation gets. Now let us see about multivariate Taylor series. We will consider a function f which is mapped from d dimension space to 1 dimension space and where f can be written as f of x where x belongs to the d dimension space that is smooth at the point x0. When we define the difference vector delta which is x minus x0 the multivariate Taylor series of f at x0 is defined as f of x which is sigma k equal to 0 to infinity kth derivative of f with respect to x evaluated at point x0 into delta raised to k by k factorial. The Taylor polynomial of degree n of f at x0 contains the first n plus 1 components of Taylor series and is defined as tn of x which is sigma k equal to 0 to n kth derivative of f with respect to x evaluated at point x0 into delta raised to k by k factorial. Note that kth derivative of f with respect to x and delta raised to k are kth order tensors that is they are k dimensional arrays. The kth order tensor which is delta raised to k that belongs to r raised to d cross etc d k times is obtained as a k fold outer product which is denoted by the symbol of the vector delta which belongs to the d dimension space. For example delta square is the outer product of delta and delta which can be written as delta delta transpose 
So delta square ij will be written as delta i delta g. Similarly, delta cube is given by outer product of delta, delta and delta. So delta cube of ijk can be written as delta i, delta j and delta k. The figure here visualizes two such outer products. The outer products of vectors will increase the dimensionality of the array by one per term. So in the first case, the outer product of two vectors is resulting in a matrix. So here the given vector is delta, which is uh, belonging to four dimension space. We obtain the outer product of delta square, which is outer product of delta by delta, which is delta delta transpose, which will give this matrix, which is belonging to the 4 cross 4 dimension space. Now the second case, the outer product of three vectors yields a third order tensor. The outer product delta q, which is outer product of delta, delta and delta, which will be resulting in a tensor which belongs to the 4 cross 4 cross 4 dimension space, will be an array with three indices. So, we can write the following expression as the kth derivative of f with respect to x at the point x0 delta raised to k which is equal to sigma i1 equal to 1 to d etc. sigma ik equal to 1 to d. Kth derivative of f with respect to x at the point x0 i1 etc. ik delta i1 etc. delta ik. In the Taylor series where this will contain the kth order polynomials. Now that we have defined the Taylor series for vector fields, let us explicitly write down the first terms of this of Taylor series expansion for k varying from 0 to 3 and delta being x minus x0. So when k equal to 0, this expression becomes 0 derivative of f with respect to x at the point x0 delta raised to 0 which is f of x0 which is a real number. For k equal to 1, first order derivative of f with respect to x at the point x0 delta raised to 1 which can be written as gradient of f with respect to x at the point x0 into delta. So the gradient will be of dimension 1 cross d and delta of dimension d cross 1 which can be written as sigma i equal to 1 to d gradient of f with respect to x at the point x0 i delta i which is a real number. When k is equal to 2, second derivative of f with respect to x at the point x0 delta square is equal to trace of hessian of the function evaluated at x0 into delta into delta transpose where hessian is a d by d matrix delta is of dimension d cross 1 and delta transpose is 1 cross d which can be written as delta transpose hessian of x0 into delta which is sigma i is equal to 1 to d sigma j equal to 1 to d hessian at points i j delta i delta j which is a real number. When k is equal to 3 third derivative of f with respect to x at the point x0 delta raised to 3 which can be written as sigma i equal to 1 to d, sigma j equal to 1 to d, sigma k equal to 1 to d. Third derivative of f with respect to x at the point x0, i, j, k, delta i, delta j, delta k, which is again a real number. So here, h of x0 means it's Hessian of the function f that is evaluated at x0. Now we look into Taylor series expansion of a function with two variables. Consider a function f of xy which is given by x square plus 2xy plus y cube. We want to compute the Taylor series expansion of f at the point x0, y0 which is 1, 2. When we see the function it's clear that it is a polynomial of degree 3. Now we are looking for a Taylor series expansion which itself is a linear combination of polynomials. 
Therefore, we do not expect the Taylor series expansion to contain terms of fourth or higher order to express a third order polynomial. This means that it should be sufficient to determine the first four terms of the Taylor series. To determine the Taylor series expansion, we start with the constant term and the first order derivatives, which is given by f of 1, 2, and substituting x and y as 1 and 2 in the function given in the beginning, we get the value 13. Do f by do x will be 2x plus 2y. So do f by do x at the point 1, 2 will be 6. Do f by do y is 2x plus 3y square. Therefore, do f by do y at the point 1, 2 will be 14. Hence, we obtain first derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2 as gradient of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2, which can be written as do f by do x at the point 1, 2, do f by do y at the point 1, 2, which is 6 and 14, which belongs to the 1 cross 2 dimension space. Such that first derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2 into delta by 1 factorial can be written as 6, 14. Now, delta is x minus x0 as we saw before. So, the given point is 1, 2. So, we will write x minus 1, y minus 2, which can be written as 6 into x minus 1 plus 14 into y minus 2. Now, note that the first derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2, delta contains only linear terms, that is the first order polynomials. The second order partial derivatives are given by dou square f by dou x square, which is 2. So, dou square f by dou x square at the point 1, 2 will be also 2. Dou square f by dou y square is 6y. So, dou square f by dou y square at the point 1, 2 will be 12. Dou square f by dou y dou x will be 2. So, dou square f by dou y dou x at the point 1, 2 will be 2. Dou square f by dou x dou y is 2. So, dou square f by dou x dou y at the point 1, 2 will be 2. When we collect the second order partial derivatives, we will obtain the Hessian h given by dou square f by dou x square, dou square f by dou x dou y, dou square f by dou y dou x, dou square f by dou y square. And substituting the values, we get 2, 2, 2 and 6 y. Such that Hessian at the point 1, 2 will be 2, 2, 2 and on substituting 2 here, we get 12 which will be a 2 by 2 matrix. Therefore, the next term of the Taylor series expansion is given by the second derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2, delta square by 2 factorial, which is 1 by 2 into delta transpose s in a function evaluated at 1, 2 into delta. We substitute for delta transpose, delta and as seen at the point 1, 2 and get this expression. Here, second derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2, delta square contains only quadratic terms. So, it will be a second order polynomial. Third order derivatives are obtained as third derivative of f with respect to x, y, which is dou h by dou x, dou h by dou y which belongs to the dimension 2 cross 2 cross 2. Here we will see that we have 3 coordinates because the dimension here is 3, which means it is a tensor. And here it is 2 cross 2 because it is the size of the Hessian matrix. We are only aware of the values of x and y and we do not know these values. So, we will leave it as such and substitute for 1 and 2 here. So, third derivative of f with respect to x, y at 1 will be dou h by dou x which is dou cube f by dou x cube, dou cube f by dou x square dou y, dou cube f by dou x dou y dou x, dou cube f by dou x dou y square. Similarly, third derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 2 will be dou h by dou y which is dou cube f by dou y dou x square, dou cube f by dou y dou x dou y, 
dou cube f by dou y square dou x dou cube f by dou y cube. Since most second order partial derivatives in the Hessian are constant, the only non-zero third order partial derivative is dou cube f by dou y square, which is 6. So dou cube f by dou y cube at the point 1, 2 will also be 6. The higher order derivatives and the mixed derivatives of degree 3 will vanish such that third derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1 is 0, 0, 0, 0. Third derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 2 is 0, 0, 0, 6. Third derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2. Delta cube by 3 factorial will have delta cube as y minus 2 the whole cube. Now this collects all the cubic terms of the Taylor series. Overall, the exact Taylor series expansion of f at the point x0, y0 which is 1, 2 is given by f of x which is f of 1, 2 plus first derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2 delta plus second derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2 delta square by 2 factorial plus third derivative of f with respect to x, y at the point 1, 2 delta cube by 3 factorial. Now on substituting the values, we get f of 1, 2 plus first derivative dou f by dou x at the point 1, 2 for delta is x minus 1 plus dou f by dou y at the point 1, 2 for delta is y minus 2. Then we go for the second derivative which is 1 by 2 factorial into dou square f by dou x square at the point 1, 2 here delta square will be x minus 1 the whole square plus dou square f by dou y square at the point 1, 2 delta will be y minus 2 the whole square plus 2 into dou square f by dou x dou y at the point 1, 2 then delta will be delta square will be x minus 1 into y minus 2 plus we go for the third derivative 1 by 3 factorial is 6 dou cube f by dou y cube at the point 1, 2 and there delta cube is y minus 2 the whole cube and we will substitute the values we got previously which will result in this expression. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.